Today, I want to share with you and review my favorite day pack for hiking, for day hikes specifically. We're going to review the Osprey Tempest 20 liters for women. This is hands down the best day pack for day hikes, in my opinion. There is a similar version for men's. Alex has that one, so if you want to see a review from Alex, leave a comment and we will get him to review his men's version but for right now we'll focus on the tempest 20 liters for women if you are in the market looking for a new backpack this is the one this is the best out there in my opinion i've used it for so many years and it's still my absolute favorite and i'm going to share with you what makes this backpack really special so we'll start first of all with the number one thing that i always always look for when i'm choosing a day pack and that is the back frame so it's very important for me because i have a very sensitive back that the frame is comfortable so with many other even osprey backpacks they are not all as comfortable and as soft as this one they have this technology with air foam that kind of adjusts and bends and takes the shape of your back so when i wear this backpack the frame is not very rigid with my other backpack it's really painful and it's just difficult to keep wearing it for an extended amount of time while if you see right here it really is taking the shape of my back that's the number one thing that i absolutely love about this backpack the second thing is the separate compartment for water bladder not all backpack have a separate section just for the water bladder you usually have to open inside of the backpack to place your water bladder it makes it difficult to grab anything else in your backpack while for this specific backpack it's separated so i already have a water bladder right here i usually use it for my osprey three liters water bladder but for right now this is the one that i found this is 1.5 liters and it's very simple so before you fill your backpack with anything really right now i have a couple of things inside just to give it some some shape but you open this section you slide your water bladder and then i hope that you guys can see it here but there's a clip you just run it through this hole and then clip it and then this way it keeps the water bladder a little bit lifted this way you have some space at the bottom of your backpack and then i can attach the the tube and then just run it either left or right however is more comfortable for you for right now i'm gonna detach it I do, by the way, have a full video about my Osprey 3 liters water bladder. I talk about just a general review and then I talk about how to clean it, how to dry it. So I will leave all of those videos in the first comments. You can go and check it out. But anyway, so water bladder separated from the inside of the backpack, which is pretty convenient. The other thing that I love about this backpack are all of the pockets that are available to you. So first, there is an upper pocket that's pretty wide so anything that you need to access easily like usually here i will throw my sunscreen maybe emergency blanket maybe extra batteries so they would live in there and then in the main section of the backpack there is another little mesh pocket i hope that's how we call it and it's got a little clip right here we usually like to use this clip to, to attach our keys, this way we don't lose them. And then inside, there's enough space, 20 liters. This is enough, even if you are going for a very long day of hiking, it's enough space. And then you've got one pocket to the right and to the left, either for your hydro flask or for your Nalgene water bottle. And then there are hip pockets for your snacks or goo tablets, chewies. I don't think you can fit your iPhone in here. I actually don't remember. Yeah, I don't think so, especially with, with a case. I don't think the iPhone is gonna fit in there. And then the one that I love the most is this outer mesh and it's got an elastic mesh. So even if you have a lot of things with you that you wanna fit in there, you can squeeze them in because it is pretty elastic. 
I use this backpack not just for hiking, but I also used it for biking. It was pretty comfortable for biking. I used it for rock climbing especially. I used it when I went snowshoeing. But for rock climbing, I learned this little trick right here. You know how with rock climbing you have to have a helmet with you? This piece right here, you can use it. The helmet has plenty of holes. So you can run it through one of these holes and then attach the helmet to your backpack. There we go. I think it looks just fine. <laughs> helmet taken care of. I did the same thing with snowshoes before and it probably wasn't the, the best idea. You see how it's gone a little bit loose? Probably when I used the snowshoes because they are pretty heavy. I'm not sure if it was built intentionally for helmets like this, but it does the job. Another cool trick. Right here, on the left side, there is a pocket. I'm not sure what it was meant for, but this is what I use it for. I usually have my GoPro with me when I'm hiking to take footage, and it fits perfectly in there. How cool. So if I need to use my GoPro, just grab it, film, and then put it back. This is probably one of my favorite things about this backpack. And then it's got, it's got a strap right here. And then another hip strap. There we go. And it also has a whistle. I like having a built-in whistle so that when you are packing, you don't even have to think about it. You don't have to think about the emergency kit having a whistle. This is great. I think the majority of Osprey backpacks, they do have the built-in whistle, which is really cool. I also like that they give you uh, a bunch of holes right here to attach your trekking poles. Osprey did a very good job of thinking about the very tiny details when it comes to designing this backpack. And like I said, if you're looking for a new one, this is the right one. It comes in different colors, if I'm not wrong. There's blue, uh, they have purple, and they have green, maybe other colors. So I'm going to leave a link to this exact backpack in the first comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I share gear reviews like this every now and then. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Habiba, this is Trekking Pals, and I will see you soon on a new adventure. Bye.